So just really to show you how fabulous this glaze layering is when it's um, just, I mean, it's amazing. This is obsidian three layers. I know I'm going to say this many times in this video, obsidian three layers and um, smoky merlot and oatmeal. Just fabulous. And I did really well with these. Look at the look at the height on them and the size of them. I mean, I, I did so well. I worked really hard at trying to make them identical, which is good for me. It was a bit of a challenge. I like to challenge myself. Okay, so watch this video and let's find out what I did to achieve this. Well, hi everybody and welcome to Lois Hook Pottery. Um, it is quite evident that on my videos, everybody really loves a good kiln and loading and a good uh, glaze layering. Um, and a lot of people send messages that they appreciate that. So um, pretty much I've got a lot of stuff done already for the kiln, but I'm going to work on these two goblets. Now, in the past, one of my favourite glazes, and I am repeating probably, but one of my favourite glazes is three layers of obsidian with smoky merlot two layers of smoky merlot and oatmeal on top so these are ones i did a long long time ago a long time ago probably three years ago and i just want to sort of give you some idea if i bring them over to the camera give you some idea of what i'm the, the finish i'm trying to get um at the top now these goblets are big look you can see the difference in size of these goblets there um more like chalices is that the right word you can tell me if it is or isn't so i'm going to do these in the uh three colors that we've just said um and then i can show you um a video with them done and when they come out of the kiln because uh, that seems to work quite nicely that people like to see what they can what they what they end up with um these are ended up really nice actually now black um obsidian doesn't run so it, it finishes on the line it doesn't run at all i can make the decision whether i want to do something extra because do i want to see do i actually want to see any glaze at the bottom or do i want to see the clay i don't think i mind um so there we go so let's get these getting there three layers of obsidian on um one of the things that when I first started was about opening these when they get tight and hard. And it is a fact that if you just put them in the water for two seconds, three seconds, um, yeah, they basically come off and they become undone. So let's see how this is to see whether I need to shake this up and get this obsidian mixed. That's nice. Okay, so... Uh, a fan brush. I've got. I bought some makeup brushes. Actually, I've been using some makeup brushes. They were quite reasonable as well, and they work really well. They have some smaller sizes for doing some. Um, so they had a bit of dust. <laughs> excuse the dust. Um, but yeah, no, they went really well. So the decision I'm going to make is I'm not going to. I'm not going to wax resist this. I'm going to just take the glaze off the edge, and I am actually going to use one of the makeup brushes. Um, and we are going to put in three layers of, of um, obsidian, black Amico obsidian. And I, what I will do, I'm going to do both of these with three layers. What I um, tend to do is I usually find that the second coat, the first coat dries really well. The second coat then can go on, but then I either leave them or I dry them with the heater. And probably today I'm going to dry them with the heater. I want a nice load of glaze around the around the rim. So that's the one thing. We mustn't have a lack of glaze around the rim. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do down here first. Good 
Thomas Leier. So the, the black um, is over the whole thing with three layers. And what I will do is I will, I like to, I class it as like my mountain, nighttime mountain, aurora sky type thing. I love that. Um, it looks like mountain range when it's done properly, I think. And is one coat and then um, inside is actually already looking dry so but what I'll do I'll pause it there and I'll come back to you when both of these have got three coats of obsidian on so what I thought I'd just quickly show you on sparse speed me drawing this Right, so I'm just going to start the other one, but I do want this to be black. So I am considering either doing an underglaze here or I'm going to raise it up on a stilt. So I'm going to actually do the around the bottom of here in a black, in the black. Um, Okay, it's the next day. I decided to let everything dry overnight actually, and I did a mug. So I've done a mug with three coats of the obsidian, ready to do this um, one where we put now the smoky merlot on, and we put it like it's a zigzaggy, jig-jaggy pattern. So I want this to look like a, um, a mountain scene at night. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, smoky merlot. Let's give a smoky merle a bit of a shake. Just checking I can see what I'm doing here. That's okay, good. So I'm gonna do this pattern on the inside as well as the outside for this one. Um so I'm just gonna just really just throw some backwards and forwards sort of pattern there like this. I want it to look very jaggery. And over the top of the rim. And what I will do with this is I will do the top part of the handle. OK, 
Okay, that's all right. Okay, so just to recap, what I've done on the outside of this is I've done one coat doing a jiggy jaggy pattern. Um, and then I am going to do a second coat on exactly the same lines, but maybe bring it up so that the second coat is actually, if you know what I mean, is, I don't know, a centimetre away from that line that I've done. So we're gonna let that dry. And uh, I'm going to now do the goblets. So the same is going to apply to the goblets. The goblets have been upside down. I just need to check them. Okay. Goblets are in the in the camera. So again, and this is this is all about looking like a, a, a mountain range in my head. got so far with this and then we'll do the same on the inside are you in view yeah And then, what I'm going to do, just checking you're there, is I'm just going to Now, the interesting thing with Smoky Merlot over the top of, just lightly over the top of Obsidian, it gives me a purple image. So I'm just going to do that like that so that it is going down into the bottom of the black. I'll let that dry. So if I show you again on this one, that's what we're trying to get. Okay, I'll let that dry. I'll do the same with this one. Okay.
bring this back on because I want to make sure they represent the same amount of glaze. So I'm just bringing that and making that a little bit more touched up at the bottom there. Okay. So I'm going to have to let these dry a bit more before I can do anything with them. Let's get the dryer out. Okay, so I dried this with a um, the dryer, um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down and put this second layer a bit higher up. Just because I know that there'll be some running going on and I want to have a bit of control. I don't know why I do it. To be fair, I think it's all right though. Because the great thing is the, 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 the layers that you have, the different layers you have on here give a different, um, you know, colour. Um, bluer or whether it's more maroony or whatever. No, I didn't really want that there. Can you see that? So... I have got a little sponge and I'm just going to sponge that off and as you can see you can do that if I'm nice and gentle that's not took anything away from the other side so let's do the inside of here Okay, let that dry and we'll blow dry our, get these dried. Okay, now I'm going to put the second coat on this, but again, I'm going to keep it higher up. Thing to this bit here. Okay. So before I put the oatmeal on. I will let these dry thoroughly. Um, oatmeal, as we know, if you're laying it on thick, it sort of curls up and it dries badly and I don't want to flick bits off. So I'm going to, I have an airing cupboard actually, that I'm going to put the two goblets and the mug in the airing cupboard and let them dry properly. And then we'll video putting the oatmeal on. Okay, so here's the oatmeal. Um, I've just got that, put that there so you can see it and it'll probably spin around a bit. And I'm going to put plenty on my brush. So the aim is to give this, and it is really thick. I want it to be thick. I've got a lot of area that, that, that it can run down. And I'm sort of putting this over the same area that I had when I did the, um, the second layer. plenty on the on the handle okay same on the inside
And what I will do, because this is going to take a bit of drying, I'm going to put it in the airing cupboard. I'm very fortunate that I have an airing cupboard that is a drying environment. Okay, so that is as good as damn it. Yeah, nice thick layers. So there's plenty of runs. This is now very thick. This is going to be on a, on something raised anyway. So I'm going to make sure that for any reason I put too much on and it's going to run lower down. <coughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the same applies to the goblets. Just check that all the whole pictures in. That come out a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, same is going to apply for this. I want plenty on. I want it. I want it to 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 really be very. There's a lot of movement, and I'm happy for that movement. on the outside sorry about that I had a little phone call okay so we're just basically putting the uh, the oatmeal around the outside having to make sure I put a nice layer around I do want it to move I want it to shift you know if I don't want lots of black space if that makes sense and the bit that is a little bit odd is this sort of bit here I do want enough and that's really all I can do Round underneath there so let me just show you what I've done there so I've put oatmeal there really thick I need to make maybe I put a bit more on I think it's thick enough it is nice and thick a bit more there okay right, let's do the other one to match. Oh. A nice thick layer around the top and then on the outside This bit. Okay. 
There's the second one. Let them all dry and then we can. Uh, I'm gonna let them dry, I think, um, in air temperature. Let me just take this back a bit. I'm gonna let them dry in air temperature um, because I think it's important that we get as little cracking with the oatmeal as possible. Um, and put a little bit more on the top of that because I could just see some of the red poking through. I do not want any red poking through around the rim. Yeah, just let those dry and um, we're nearly there for a kiln load. It's not a huge kiln load, but it's enough. And here is Goblet 1. Again, Midnight Skies Glaze. So just to give you, you can see the, the lines. So again, three layers of obsidian, two layers of smoky merlot, thicker under the oatmeal. Um, and then I've done a band of um, oatmeal here and there's the inside if we have a look. So we can try and see what happens when we get the glaze out. As you can see, I've got to try and keep the, the, the oatmeal on. Uh, I've done a thin layer of smoky Merlot here because I don't want it to be solid black. Um, I want that to be a purplish tinge. I might regret that that's solid black inside. I might think next time that I would have liked it to be um, a layer of smoky Merlot all over so that it had that deep purple um, image, but we'll see. There's the glazes for that. Okay, so here is the second goblet. Um, again, done with the same as I've said, obsidian, smoky Merlot and oatmeal. Um, this is really just so we can sort of have a look at the pattern that we've got so when it comes out of the kiln we can see um, what we've got and uh, inside yes but i don't know how cool it'll be below <laughs> i love my kiln openings okay let's have a look so I've got the uh, the two big goblets that look fabulous. I've got a test piece because I've got a Christmas order for Norse blue over sandstone. Um, there's my there's my uh, uh, chess piece. Some other pieces down there. So let's have a little look. The other thing, I mean, I haven't really. Yeah, this has got some issues, and I'll explain about that when I get it out. Um, we're going to refire that and see what we can do. So let me put you here. Is that about right? Looks okay. Right. Should we have a look at those goblets first? Because two goblets. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely fabulous. And the black has fired really beautifully. Yeah, everything's fired really lovely. So let's have a look at them. Look at them. Oh. That's just amazing. So this is the Midnight Stone, Midnight Stone, Midnight Skies Glaze. What I've done with everything that I'm filming, I'm filming you today, I have a before and after. So I've actually done every pot before so I can actually show you exactly what they look like before uh, and remind you what I did. Oh, I'm so pleased with those. Let's do one at a time. Okay, so the black. I put a little bit of uh, Smoky Merlot over the black. It has given just a tinge, but not enough. So if I wanted it to be more than this sort of jet black colour, um, I was worried about having too much jet black on the inside. But I think the piece is actually really well balanced. So that's really nice. Okay. Really, really pleased with that. You down there. And the other one. Oh, it's just lovely. In fact, on this one, I can see a little bit more of a a maroon tinge on the foot but not a lot
<laughs> absolutely beautiful that's nice as well mm, interesting uh, you know having that run over that to the next bit and i had oatmeal flicking up over here and i was a little bit worried and it's not all the oatmeal has sat in that um in that in that indent which is nice the join these are these are two pieces so this is a bowl just as a recap and a foot that's lovely Okay. Well, I think that's a really great success. Um, it hasn't actually got much purple, sadly, on the bottom there. So I could have done a little bit more layers. I love the uh, bit round the round the neck. And struggling to have the right place to show you this because you want bright but <laughs> the conservatory has too many lines interfering anyway that's that one That's the second one, I think, when I've tried to work out. A lovely, lovely reaction. And on the neck. But not really any maroony there. But that's okay, actually. It works with the black. I like it a lot. Anyway success 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 let me just grab the mug very happy with that <laughs> 